And for those of you who have not been on one of these calls before, and excuse the noise a little bit, but I thought it would be kind of fun to come to you from one of our communities that was absolutely totally quiet until now, uh, Bobcat just came across. So I'm gonna go back inside for a second, but it was a uh, not much better. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go in a hall here. Uh, so uh, always improvise when you must. So this week um, we're going to talk about uh, Jerome Village our love for Jerome Village, what there is to see and do in the area. And also on this call are clients as well as realtors. And hey, if you're a client, you really want to have an agent to get the most money for your home and the best, best return on your investment for your future home. You want an agent that is informed is real action motivated and driven. If an agent is on this call, they are that, they meet that need. So I would absolutely, what I do is toward the end at the Q and A session, I actually have all the agents on this call input their contact information for you. And then when I post it to YouTube and send out the link, you can look up those agents and you can also look up agents that were on previous calls as well. So with that, let's get started with Jerome Village. It's a great area, kind of a new area uh, to Columbus. The master developer is Nationwide Realty. Yes, that's a division of the insurance company. And uh, it's, it's a great, great community. So when you look on this map and you see these that are kind of gold, those are completed communities. And then the communities in red are the ones that are coming up. So there's approximately 14 different communities there right now, neighborhoods there right now. They are connected by a series of bike trails and I'll show that to you a little bit in the future. Right here, this huge area is plans for a new Dublin middle and elementary school. And then this entire area here is Nationwide Realty has planned to do all retail. So right here is 42, all right? And then Highland Croy is approximately around in here right now too. So, and there will be 600 acres of parks in this community. In the Union County itself, there are eight different historic bridges. So it's kind of a fun, fun county to drive around in because of all the different variety. You have that and then there's this big Darby Plain Scenic Byway. Highly recommend stopping by any visitor and convention center and downloading. It's like 30 stops on this highway. Really, really fun, fun ride. So highly recommend, hey, if it's a Sunday afternoon and you just want to get out and see what's in the area, this is a fun drive. There's a lot of state natural areas in the county as well. And then of course, Glacier Ridge Park, that is such a great gem. It's just south of our communities on the south border of Jerome Village. We have two communities in Jerome Village. The courtyards at Jerome Village totally sold out about last year, I'd say, the beginning of the year and maybe a year and a half ago. And then of course our newest community, the courtyards at Highland Run. I will talk to you about that in a bit, but all of the communities do link toward Glacier Ridge Park. So great natural area. The closest golf course is Darby Ridge Golf Course. And it has two distinctly different uh, nine holes of golf that you can play. There are a total of six golf courses in the community area. And this is what I really love. This is this was fun to see. There's a place called Atta Boys where you can do archery. The Marysville BMX is for bike racing. And then Phoenix Bats, they actually create and produce bats. Uh, that you can play baseball, softball with. So, uh, and there are many other, it's a very active county. I was really impressed with that. And you can even from Eagle Rider rent a Harley Davidson to go out and 
drive around and do that scenic bike uh, highway with. So excellent, excellent choice there. And again, go to the uh, any close by visitor and convention center and you can get a map like this with uh, descriptors of what the different sites are to see and do in the area. You can also, and it's closed right now due to COVID, but it will be opening up soon again, the Honda Heritage Center, where you can actually tour in, and see advances in that. And I was told that uh, we will have a lot more growth here because they are opening up a whole new electric car division as well, which is excellent. Now this is fun. So it's uh, Marysville, which is close by to uh, the Jerome Village area, has uh, every, every town seems to be joining on with Dora, or in this case, it's Mora. So the uh, Marysville outside uh, reserve area, you know, refreshment area, I believe it's, uh, is for going around, checking out the different sites in Marysville. And yes, you can walk around with the designated glass and uh, drink as you stroll around. There's many great amenities such as the Blokes Creek Winery, the Dalton Union, Union Winery and Brewery. Ravenshurst is a champagne seller and the Rhetoric Brewing Company is there as well. Um, also, here's the Marysville Bike Paths. So you see where all the red is. There's actually, I called New Albany Realty and there's no no designated uh, map for the bike routes, but what she said was go at this master plan, blow it up, follow the little beige paths. They do connect all the neighborhoods. So this is very rudimentary. It's a rough draft where you see the red lines are all of the bike paths in the area. So it is quite extensive, which is excellent. Now we're going to feature on our community, the courtyards on Highland Broad. Great community. And again, this is one of my little maps because I always want to see what the area around our communities looks like. This is the official address uh, for the community. But this area that you see down here was our former community that is all built up, uh, the courtyards at Jerome Village. This is Ryan. Parkway, and here is Highland Croy. So about right here is the red barn that everyone knows about. And uh, our community now, the courtyards on Highland Run, you can partake in the red barn for just under $400 a year. And you do not pay a separate HOA to belong to that because you're paying the 225 HOA in our community and that covers that as well. So that's excellent news too. So you come up from Ryan Parkway and Highland Croy, which Highland Croy will go south to Glacier Ridge Park. Come in here, the very first home is our model home. It is a Promenade 3 Ranch. And then I have two inventory homes right beside it as well. So if you need quicker move in, we have that available. Right now we are selling these homes and I believe we don't have any more here available yet. I will double check that, but all of these have been sold that are available. Um, so we'll usually release when we're down to about five or seven home sites remaining. This is only one of two, nine, soon to be 10 communities in the Columbus area for us that have the possibility of duplexes. There's, I don't know, about six or eight buildings that if you wanted a true attached condo that is available, a little lower price point when you do that. This community also, so what's really great is this area here is wetlands. And then this area is also wetlands. We have a retention pond here and uh, the builder over here put in another retention pond. So Nationwide just okay to put a bike path. They will be putting a bike path through here as well, which will connect to all the other bike systems. Then this is great. Up here, we have the uh, Jerome Village 
park, see this huge, huge pond and huge, huge lake. It was 13 acres, rumor has it is now composing 40 acres, which is excellent. So all natural all around here. So great home sites. We also are the only one or only one of two communities at Nationwide Realty, and it's because it is our lifestyle that we're able to have the clubhouse, pool, workout room. We also have pickleball, bocce ball, and an outdoor pavilion. And usually our outdoor pavilions have fireplaces in them as well. So I'm sure this one probably will also. So um, great community. Uh, this area I'm, looks just prime for another neighborhood. I don't know of anything that will be happening, but anytime I see a large um, field like this, I'm, I'm going to assume that it will be more homes in the future. This little wedge is owned by a Nationwide Realty. Really isn't that big to do much in, so I'm hoping it will stay natural, which would be fantastic. This is a view of that lake, the park that I talked about. This community, the courtyards at Highland Run will have 99 homes and eight different floor plans. So you'll have the attached Burton homes and then our typical Palazzo Portico Promenade. We also have our rear courtyard homes, which means your outdoor space is behind the home off of the living room and the owner suite and that's a Salerno, Torino, Verona. And here we also will be releasing our brand new floor plan that's only available here at Highland Run or at Riverside Drive. And there will be eight provenances in this community, five at Riverside Drive. This floor plan alone on the first floor has just over 2,800 square feet. It has two first floor owner suites. It has this huge room that can be a, a designated dining room or it can be a great big office or den. You could have up to three courtyards, two fireplaces. It does come with a three car garage and true to all of our homes, you can build them as a one story ranch, which gives you at least two bedrooms, two bathrooms or you can add a bonus floor of the upstairs, which will bring you another bedroom, uh, bathroom, and in most of our floor, floor plans, also a living room area. This is a Plain City mailing address with Dublin schools, so that's excellent. Uh, again, recap of the outdoor amenities, and there are walking paths throughout this community and the whole community. So time for Q&A. Uh, at this point, any realtors, sorry about the truck, uh, any realtors on the call, could you please uh, post your name and all of your contact information? That way anyone on the call can see that. Also, anyone with any questions on this area, please unmute yourself and ask away or type it in the text box, but uh, definitely ask any questions that you have uh, now, and I'd love to help you out with that. Okay. Just to kind of recap, so thank you, Will. Uh, next week, we will be doing a downsize right. So it just helps to know where do I get rid of all this stuff? I've collected all this stuff over the years. Who do I contact? How do I make this pain-free and simple? So uh, we'll be going over that, different ways to make your life a whole lot easier because at the end of the day, that's really all we want to do. So um, does anyone, let me see if I can unmute everyone. Everyone can unmute if you want. If you have any questions, please go ahead and ask those at this time. I give it another minute or two. And all right, well guys, thank you for taking time out of your day 
to come here and do this. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. I hope everyone got something out of this. I hope you learned something new and let me know what I can do to assist in the future. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.